Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about David Gates driving the Aftershock Camaro on No Prep Gang Season 5 and upgrading to the Showstopper Camaro for the rest of the season. Now, if we're going to go directly to their photo owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Gang Stray Series and all the other Street Outlaws shows. So, there hasn't been an official statement from David Gates, but according to many sources and even some uh, fellow youtubers he did purchase the showstopper camaro from kai kelly now ever since he put the new wrap on aftershock people believed that he had bought aftershock but that's actually not the case aftershock is still owned by pat musi and basically that racing team now aftershock obviously it's a good car but I don't think it's as good of a car as Showstopper. Aftershock gave Lissy a lot of issues, both on the street and on the track. And even though back in 2019, Lissy did win three times in a row with the Aftershock, I don't think it's as good built of a car as Showstopper. Showstopper has also won several no prep games races, especially with cars that are a lot faster now than back then. Now, David Gates have ac has actually done pretty good with the Aftershock Camaro. He is currently tied in 17th. And even though it doesn't sound really good, when you are 17th of the 50 racers, pretty much, that run the best on no prep, that's an accomplishment, especially on his first year so when he gets behind the wheel of the showstopper i do believe he will move up quite a bit because the showstopper is just a better car and it's faster and it's a winning car in combination for no prep kings and it would not surprise me david gates would end up in the top 10 in points for no prep kings season five we still have seven more races, and the last race should be double points. So, championship is still up for grabs. Currently, Ryan Martin is leading in the points, and Kai Kelly is six rounds behind Ryan. But, Kai is debuting his new car, and Team Nola is definitely getting stronger with David Gates. He is a great driver, has a great program, and... He basically helps everybody on Team Nolan, including Kai Kelly himself. So, Team Nolan, in my opinion, is still the strongest team. They may not have the fastest car yet, because Ryan pretty much is the fastest racer out there. But as a team, they are for sure the fastest, in my personal opinion.